Okay. What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Follow me there, too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. All right, y'all. In six days starts the, the festival of, what is it? The Durga Puja? Is that how you say it? And it's like celebrating the, the goddess Durga and when she, you know, fought against the demon and, and slayed him. And, and I guess it's kind of a festival of good over evil, which I'm about. I am about and celebrating the goddess Durga. So now I don't know what goes into the celebrations or anything. That's why I was given this request to watch the Durga Puja and it's by the, the Mindia. M India. You already get this started because I don't know what that is done in this festival. I just read a little bit about why it's celebrated, but I'm excited to see all the celebrations. Y'all ready? Let's go. My India. It's kind of a long Mind one. of India. So. Durga Pujo is celebrated every year with much pomp and splendor across India. That's beautiful. But for the Bengali community, it is a time of the year when their mother goddess descends to earth to restore good in the world. Oh, that's what I... We need all that we can get, don't we? Oh, this is going to make me cry. <laughs> you know... Durga Puja is celebrated across India. It's a very important part of the Hindu rituals. The two times in a year it's celebrated. Uh, in Bengal especially, it's the autumn uh, festival, which is the Sharad Durgotsav, which is celebrated in Bengal, Calcutta, Odisha, Assam, the eastern part it's of India. It's like fall in my area too, like autumn fall. And we, but we celebrate like Halloween. <laughs> and this festival truly takes on epic proportions in the city of Kolkata the capital of the Indian state of West Bengal. A religious multi-day festival, Durga Pujo is a celebration of the goddess Durga and perhaps of life itself. Oh, they always have multi-day festivals. We In the Shaktism like tradition of Hinduism, Durga is a central deity. And Durga Pujo marks the victory of the goddess over the shape-shifting demon, oh. Muhishasura. Oh, that was him. She Symbolizing slid. the victory of good over evil. She was, it is a story that has been told over time, yet in West Bengal, line. a story that is told with renewed faith and fervor with every year. There are many layers to this story. She was riding the, the line the, are all the stories? keepers of Sanjeevani Vidya the ability to regrow themselves. So every year the Asura will come like the harvest and just as the harvest involves violence, you have to cut the grain and thresh the grain to get to the food, the goddess is going to kill this Asura so that there is food and um, prosperity, pleasure for prosperity for humanity. Oh. In a quiet hamlet in Kolkata, an auspicious beginning is made in the name of the goddess. It is here in Kumar Tuli that clay collected from the riverbanks is being used to craft the statues or idols that are the focal points of pride and prayer of the festival. That's an artist right there. I can never At make Kumar Tuli, creating deities that. and statues has been a way of life for over 200 years. Kumar Tuli literally translates to Potter's Colony and it has oh. housed generations of Potters responsible yeah, for creating the iconic deities associated with Durga Puja. How amazing they are doing this! That's all made out of clay! I, I wish I had that kind of artistic abilities. The day of the Mahalaya is here. Mahalaya is the day when Goddess Durga is set to leave her heavenly abode and descend to her home on earth. And this marks the beginning of Durga Puja. She 
have known a guest to ride the lion. War a day like, is sacred to everyone, but more so for the potters at Kumar Tuli. That's amazing stuff right there. Today is an auspicious day when the sculptors enliven the goddess through a special ritual. The goddess is invoked by eloquently sketching the third eye, thereby bringing her to life. Oh, that's the last thing. Once this ritual is completed and the eye is enlivened, the deity can see you and therefore engage with you. It is no, no longer just a inanimate object. It is now an organism, a divine organism who can engage with human beings. So she can see you and you can see her. And there is now a real connection between the devotee and the deity. For the city of Kolkata, the 10-day mega festival of Durga Pujo is not an ordinary celebration, but one that catapults the city from a mellow Look capital into a vibrant and, and bustling yeah, metropolis. Oh. That's just something like the temples. The and last five days gorgeous. are the most important days of the Pujo celebrations. Traditionally called Mahashashti, Mahashaptami, Maha Ashtami, Maha Navami, and Vijay Doshami. The days trace the entire story from the arrival of Goddess Durga on Earth to her slaying the demon Mohishasu. And finally, a farewell on the last day as the goddess returns to her heavenly abode. Oh, so and then Various she returns, rituals are practiced why. each day, symbolizing different aspects of this cultural extravaganza. It is day six of Durga Pujo, and the real festivities begin today. Oh, that's when it really starts, huh? The main celebration happens from what is called Sashti, which is the sixth day of the tenth day. Oh. That's the day when she comes to the house, the Sashti. The streets of the city have come alive, dotted with colorful marquees in every possible Gorgeousness. Look These at all the colors in the are stunning artistic installations and are thronged by festival goers looking to get a glimpse of the deity and the unique decorations. From here on, the next four days are all about faith, food and festivities. That's what I'm talking about. This is my kind of celebration. <laughs> they said snacks. I was there. In a small neighborhood of Kolkata, women have woken up early to conduct a ritual that marks day seven or Maha What is that about? The ritual is called Kola Bo and entails dressing up a banana tree along with a Novopatrika or nine types of leaves and spices to represent Lord Ganesha's wife. The early form of Durga Puja was a worship of plants and she is now draped in a sari and called Kolabo and is put next to Ganesha and Ganesha is said to be uh, considering her as his wife. But it's clearly plant worship which happens on Sapani. The ritual snan or bath is being conducted with much aplomb at the local pond to the beats of the Dhaki. Durga Pujo celebrates the goddess as the divine feminine behind all of life and creation. Oh, she is venerated as a mother and as a daughter who comes to her parents' home along with her children, leaving her heavenly abode and descending into earth. Durga Pujo celebrates womanhood as much as it celebrates the triumph of good over evil. See? Oh, I love that. And on Maha you know Ashtami, the eighth the day, power. this celebration takes on epic proportions, what? especially at Belur Mat. Founded as a monastery in the late 19th century, the Belur Mat is the headquarters of the Ramakrishna mission. Located on the banks of the Hooghly, and designed to celebrate the diversity of Indian religions, the mat displays motifs of a temple, a mosque, 
and a church oh in its God. architecture. It has all of it in one. That's to bring all the religions Ramakrishna together. Ramakrishna oh. had worshipped his wife, Sharada Devi, in salutation to the Divine Feminine. As an ode to his teacher in 1902, Swami Vivekananda worshipped a girl in the name of the Goddess with the blessings of Sharada Devi during the Durga Puja. And this is how the Kumari Puja started at Bilur Math. The crowds wait with bated breath. Vying to get a glimpse of the earthen representative of the goddess in the oh, form of a young girl. Oh, this is kind of. Oh, Y'all know how I am with the little kids. Oh, how The cute. goddess is a traditional symbol of empowerment oh, and evokes a sense of confidence and power goodness. in the hearts of the spectators. I wonder how they do it. There's one of the few festivals uh, in Hinduism where, especially in Bengal, where the women play a central role. Uh, and that's uh, the, the you cannot perform the festival without the women. That's right. <laughs> when the Ashtami day, the eighth day, merges with the ninth I day, that is the time the when it is said the final battle takes place and oh, a huge the ceremony takes place. The, the pinnacle the of the demon. celebration. On the penultimate day of the mega festival. The revelry and celebration in Kolkata have come to a crescendo. Look at that. Look at that crowd. Friends and family have gathered in large You think they're going to do it this year, even with the pandemic? As many marquees as they can. And well, I guess y'all would know. Y'all need to tell me. All in their glory. <laughs> oh, look at This is gorgeous. Like, all the Popularly festivals always... Popularly termed as pandal hopping, this is a key feature of the puja, as people take to the streets to witness the grand spectacle that is on display for oh them Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful statue! <laughs> Pandal hopping reaches its peak on day 9, that is the last day before the same. idols are immersed. Given the Bengali community's heritage and acumen for art, the displays Statue and links. experiences are a cultural and visual feast. The marquees are extravagant in their execution of artistic ability, providing the perfect backdrop for a vibrant celebration. I believe that. It is this rich culture on display that draws crowds in their millions that help make it yeah. one of the biggest festivals in the world. Look how gorgeous that is. I need to go. <laughs> I want to go. Each of the bigger marquees have average spends of over one million dollars. The community money is put to good use in the detailed themes and the decor, from the exotic oh, idols and sets to exquisite lighting displays resembling oh, a modern art gallery. Even the idols are moving Just away from a traditional there. look to a more 3D experience. And get to see that in real life. These intricately planned panels contribute a major portion of the approximately $5 billion economy that wow. surrounds the Durga Puja. Oh, it brings, and the grandeur like is visible and palpable the as the ninth day of the Puja comes to an end. Oh, fireworks! I love some fireworks! Is it over now? Like, is it the festival? Or is this the aftermath of the festival? Yeah, the next morning after. Oh, and they all. Oh. The tenth day has begun with a splash of color. Oh. Married women are playing with vermilion in a ritual called Shidur Khela. Women in Bengal play this Shindur Khela where they play with. Uh, the red color kumkum which they apply on their head which is a symbol of marriage and they play with each other as if it's holy the holy festivals of colors and it's only a women's festival so the goddess uh -huh, and the women of the household play this festival in public i like all these things just designed the shidur khela also symbolizes the power of the woman that's right when it comes to protecting her husband and children from all evil I'll for all it. married women, especially Don't the children, my they play this game after which they send her a tearful farewell which is called the Visarjan celebrations and the women cry because the daughter of the household is now going away. Oh, that w oh no. This all the cry devotees now. and participants are taking to the roads one last time on a journey to the river with their idols of the goddess Durga. 
Are they gonna submerge him? Are there? Do, are they gonna submerge him? This is for statues? the Bishorjan Puja, or immersion of the idols into the river. See? A they ritual that is symbolic of wishing the goddess farewell Aww. as she leaves back to her husband's heaven. Oh, and dancing like this is my kind of festival. Right here, I would be dancing In a final and demonstration of cultural <laughs> splendor, people are seeing their deities one last Aww, time, and emotions run high. I bet. The feeling that accompanies the immersion of the idols is said to be akin to bidding a daughter goodbye. Oh, don't as she make me cry. Don't make me cry, Durga Puja. It is a day of intense and contrasting oh, emotions. With the joy of the 10 day festivities, meeting the despair of it drawing to an end. The idols make their way to designated Don't spots drop them. <laughs> along the banks of the river known as Ghats. The popular Ghats draw thousands of devotees, all here to bid goodbye to their goddess and witness the scale of the festival wow. one last time. Uh, Here, as the idols are immersed, they are immediately fished out of the river to prevent pollution oh, good. and to ensure that the festival is sustainable despite its scale. For the state of West Bengal, Durga Pujo is an essential part of the people. To give it the grand status it deserves, the government decided to host a grand parade in the tradition of the Independence Day celebrations at the famous Red Road. On the 10th day, the finest floats are displayed and carried down the Red Road, oh, so they keep represented the by various puja committees making for a spectacular oh, like display a of the Durga Pujo cultural It's heritage. like a parade with them. This is, I'm telling you, they do not play around with the festivities. Durga Pujo is a celebration of epic proportions. A treat to all the senses. A happy homecoming for every Bengali and the crowning glory of their rich tradition and culture. Mm. A cultural mega festival and an experience okay. of a lifetime. I bet. That's why I want to go. I want to go for the whole thing. My dear. I loved it. I have questions though. Are they going to, because that's a big gathering, are they going to do it this year with the pandemic? Because that's what last year, right? They, they even put out this video because they couldn't do it because of the pandemic. I wonder if they're doing it this year. Y'all would know. Y'all would tell me. I would love to go to that. Oh, especially just seeing like that, the ones at night and the lights and, and the decorations. Oh, that is beautiful. Like that, that I couldn't even get it. Just imagine being there in person, getting to witness that. I'm looking at it just on the computer screen and I'm overwhelmed just with the beautiful, how beautiful it is. Ah. Oh. And it's kind of with the celebrations with the, the women and empowerment and it would probably make me cry too. I was almost gonna, cause it's kind of like the daughters go off on their own as the time that, I wanna go see it. <laughs> I wanna go see it. I know I'm not traveling anywhere right now, but that's what I was saying. Y'all don't, or they, they don't play around with the festivals. Here, we might have a festival, it's like one day. One day, you can have fun and, and party and all that. You get one day and it's over. They, over there, y'all, it's like nine, ten days later with the festivals and that's the kind of festivals I wanna be a part of. Even like I said with the weddings, I always wanted to go to Indian wedding because here, a day, maybe a half a day even the wedding because you go to the, the ceremony and then like the party after. That's like a half a day. Sometimes just the evening. Oh, for there, it's like three days of festivities with the weddings and y'all know how to do it right. They do it right. Over there, they know how to do it right. And I want to go be a part of it. <laughs> I don't. Well, what does it start? It starts in like six days, the, the Durga Puja. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that down below. And until next time, mwah.